Hello students, I am myself Mehul Kodia from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed one theory that is relationship between local coordinate system and relationship between global coordinate system. So in today's session we have to derive one equation that is element stiffness matrix in global coordinate system for truss element. Okay. So, in the uh, say, uh, relationship between lo local nodal displacement and global nodal displacement for stress element. Okay, so u1 u1 dash u2 dash is equal to cx cy 0 0 0 0 cx cy. We already derived this equation in our last session. Clear? u1 v1 and u2 v2. We already derived this uh, uh, equation in our last session. And uh, this truss member is in two dimensions. That's why displacement occurs in two dimensional. Okay. So U N dash is equal to L U N, where U N dash is equal to U one dash U two dash. That is element nodal displacement vector in local coordinate system. And U N is equal to U one V one and U two V two. That is element nodal displacement vector in global coordinate system. Okay. So that we already discussed. Next thing that is element nodal displacement vector in local coordinate system is equal to transformation matrix into element nodal displacement vector in global coordinate system. That equation we already did have in our last session. Similarly, F dash is equal to L F. Now F dash indicate element load vector in local coordinate system and L indicate transformation matrix and F indicate element load vector in global coordinate system okay instead of node we use the force okay nothing we nothing we change just we change instead of for load or nodal vector we use load vector in both the coordinate system local coordinate system as well as in the global coordinate system okay now element stiffness matrix in global uh, coordinate system for stress element we have to uh, derive equation of element stiffness matrix first of all we have to uh, discuss some basic terminology like k dash is equal to element stiffness matrix in local coordinate system k is equal to element stiffness matrix in global coordinate system u n dash is equal to element nodal displacement vector in local coordinate system okay and u n is equal to element nodal displacement vector in global coordinate system f dash indicate element load vector in local coordinate system and f indicate element load vector in global coordinate system you have to remember one thing those value with dash uh, indicate the uh, local coordinate system and those value without dash indicate the uh, global coordinate system L indicate transformation matrix. Uh, you all know L indicate transformation matrix that is CX, CY, 0, 0, 0, 0, CX, CY. CX indicate cos theta, CY indicate sin theta. Cos theta is equal to x2 minus x1 upon length of element and sin theta is equal to y2 minus y1 upon uh, length of element. Now we have to uh, derive relationship between local and global parameter. Now UN dash is equal to LUN. UN dash means uh, global. Uh, Low, uh, that is the uh, displacement vector and f dash that is the uh, force vector so u n dash is equal to l u n f dash is equal to l f now f is equal to k u n clear so f is equal to k u n means uh, this is the equation of stiffness stiffness is equal to force per two, force upon deflection so force is equal to stiffness into deflection and f dash is equal to k dash into u n dash this is nothing but it is the equation of stiffness force is equal to <laughs> stiffness into displacement now you have to put value of f dash over here value of f dash instead of f dash we have to write down from equation 1 that is l f is equal to k dash instead of u n dash you can write down l u n ok now from last equation, uh, you can write down L K U N is equal to K dash L U N. Now from both sides, U N will cancel out. So that equation converted in the form like L K is equal to K dash L. Okay. Now uh, uh, L we have to multiply both the side with L inverse. Clear? So L inverse L K is equal to L inverse K dash L. Now L inverse L is equal to 1 because both the 
if you multiply any of the matrix with inverse matrix and that time that multiplication answer is 1. So L inverse L is equal to 1. So that side there are remaining only value of K. And L inverse K dash L that is the remaining value. So K is equal to L inverse K dash L. Now L inverse is equal to L transpose. So instead of L inverse you can write down L transpose. So K is equal to L transpose K dash L. Where K, you have to remember that K indicates stiffness, element stiffness, L indicate transformation matrix, K dash indicate against stiffness of matrix, and L indicate transformation matrix. Okay. Now, where K dash is equal to AE upon L, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, that equation we already derived in our previous session. This is nothing but it is the uh, equation of element stiffness matrix. Where K is equal to A E upon L, A is equal to cross sectional area, E is equal to modulus of elasticity, L is equal to length of element, e is equal to element stiffness matrix in local coordinate system. Now from equation L, now we already derived equation of L in our last session, that is the transformation matrix CXCY00, 00, 00, 00, 00 CXCY is equal to transformation matrix. Now we have to take transpose of transformation matrix. Now what is the meaning of transpose? Meaning of transpose it means we have to convert all the column into rows. Clear? So CXCY00 zero zero, that is first row that convert into first column CXCY00. Zero zero. And second row 00CXCY zero zero convert as a second column 00CXCY. Zero zero it is called transpose of transformation matrix. Clear? It is the answer of L transpose. Now K we have already equation of K put all the value in that equation. So K is equal to that is the element stiffness matrix is equal to CX instead of L transpose you have to write down CXCY 0 0 0 0 CXCY. Instead of K you have to write down AE upon L 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. And instead of L that is transformation matrix you have to write down CXCY 0 0 0 0 CXC. Now you have to take a value as a common value AE upon L you have to take the common CX 0 uh, CY 0 0 CX 0 CY you have to write down as it is. Now you have to multiply these two matrix. Clear you have to multiply last two matrix means you have to multiply first row with first column means 1 into CX plus minus 1 into 0 that means CX. Now multiply first row with second column means 1 into CY plus minus 1 into 0 that means CY. Now first row with third column 1 into 0 minus 1 into CX means minus CX. First row fourth column means 1 into 0 and minus 1 into CY means minus CY. Same way you have to multiply second row with each column. Clear? In second row with first column means minus 1 into CX plus 1 into 0 means minus CX. Second row with second column minus 1 CY plus 1 into 0 means minus CY. Second row third column means minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into CX means CX. And second row fourth column minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into CY means answer is CY. So this is the multiplication of last two matrix. Now again K is equal to A E upon L that is the constant value you have to write down as it is. Now you have to multiply these two matrix clear means first row with first column means CX into CX means CX square plus 0 into minus CX means that is 0 means CX square. Now first row with second column means CX CY plus 0 into CY means that is CX CY. First row third column answer that is minus cx square first row last column answer that is minus cx square so same way you have to multiply each row with each column and you will get final equation of element stiffness matrix for the stress element that is k is equal to a e upon l in inside the matrix that is cx square cx cy minus cx square minus cx cy in second row CXCY, CY square minus CXCY minus CY square. In third row minus CX square minus CXCY, CX square and CX. In last row minus CXCY minus CY square, CXCY and CY square. You have to remember that CX nothing but that is cos theta, CY nothing but that is sin theta, value of CX that is x2 minus x1 upon n, value of CY. 
y2 minus y1 upon l you have to remember that thing so using this equation we have to solve numerical based on this truss member okay now element stress calculation for truss element now we have how to find uh, stresses in this truss element so this is the equation of stress now what is the hooke's law it is the nothing but uh, modulus of elasticity is equal to stress upon strain so in st uh, you can write down stress is equal to modulus of elasticity into strain so sigma is equal to e into epsilon now we already derived equation of epsilon that is b into un and instead of b you can write down 1 upon l minus 1 1 so sigma is equal to e upon length of element minus 1 1 u and dash that is the nodal displacement so this is the equation of element stresses okay so in today's session we discuss uh, element stresses in calculation for stress element okay and we derive equation of stress equation of uh, element stiffness matrix and sigma is equal to e upon l minus 1 1 l u n clear means uh, you have you have to now you have to put value of l and u n over here clear so e upon l minus 1 1 instead of u n dash you can write down l u n now instead of l you can write down transformation matrix and instead of u n you can write down nodal displacement vector so last equation of sigma that is e upon l minus 1 1 instead of l write down transformation matrix cx by 0 0 0 0 cx 1 and u n okay now multiply these two matrix minus 1 1 and transformation matrix and you will get the final equation of element stresses that is sigma is equal to e e means uh, modulus of elasticity of element upon l e means length of element now multiply these two matrix means first row with first column minus 1 cx plus 0 means minus cx minus 1 cy plus 1 into 0 means minus cy first row with third column cx first row with last column means cy and u n that is the uh, equation of the element stresses in stress method. Okay, so in next session we have to solve one numerical based on this truss method. Thank you.